In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove some of the pop and click sounds that you have in your audio file. You know, when we do presentations, we use PowerPoints, and sometimes you hear these clicks like this from your mouse. And you see them here. These are all the click and pop sounds that appear in my audio a lot. And you see them all over the places as I do my presentation. It's very difficult to know how to get rid of these constant clicking and popping sounds that you see in the audio strip. Can you hear it? You can see the sound wave here. To clean up this empty space is easy because we can always come here to highlight this, edit, and silence the audio. And all these popping sounds will be gone. But then, you see these popping sounds here, very close to the audio? And sometimes they appear right in between your speech. So what can we do to get rid of all these popping and clicking sounds that appear in the entire audio strip. What you need to do is you need to highlight the entire audio strip. I'll use Control A. We come to Effect and come down here to Click Removal. This plugin is done by Create Deforest. It's excellent. Usually the default setting is at 210 and 20. You can try this threshold and we'll click OK. All right, it has now removed a lot of the clicking sound, but it's not entirely clean yet. You still see one here and a tiny one here and a big one on this one. So what you need to do is we'll highlight this again and we'll go to Effect, click Removal, and I'm going to move this over a little bit. For maximum spike width, the higher is more sensitive. So I'll just get it to 40 and let's see what happens. All right, now it's a little bit better. You don't see any more clicks here. Over here, you see here a tiny one. So what we can do is, and here, a little bit. Okay, so we'll just highlight this, go to Effect, click Removal. We'll move this cursor over to the left. The lower it is, the more sensitive it is. So we'll just move this over. And hopefully to be able to remove all the clicks and pops. The reason could be that my mouse is very close to the microphone, so it picks up all these clicks easily. All right, now it looks much better. So if you look through the entire strip, we don't see many of the pops and clicks there. You can do this at one go and you'll take out all the pops and clicks that are in your audio. So all you need to do is you come to Effect, click Removal, and you can play around with the cursor here to find the threshold. Usually the default setting is around 220 and it'll do the job. But if you find that your pop and clicks are still occurring, you can move this lower and move this higher to remove all the pops and clicks. All right, so this is a quick way to remove all the click and pops that are in your audio strip. 